Today, I'm going to teach you how to use keywords everywhere. Hey, welcome back. I'm Karen Carr, and I'm going to teach you today how to do keyword research using my personal favorite tool, Keywords Everywhere. Keywords Everywhere lets you see how much search volume there is for any particular phrase. Now, the word keyword is kind of a misnomer. It does not mean a single word. It means the actual phrase people are typing into the Google search bar. So for example, I am a real estate agent here in Savannah, Georgia. Let's say that I wanted to do a video on Mm, the best the best neighborhoods in Savannah. So I could type in neighborhoods in Savannah. And it will tell me how many searches are being done a month for this exact phrase and what kind of competition there is. So in order to use Keywords Everywhere, first you go to keywordseverywhere.com. You're gonna either install it for Firefox or Chrome. It used to be free and I'm sorry, it is no longer free oh. as of October 1st, 2019. It is $10 for 100,000 credits. I signed up for it at the very beginning of October when they started charging. It is now the beginning of November and I still have, let's see, 93,000 credits left. So I figure my $10 purchase will probably last me nine to 12 months. 10 bucks a year for this program is a killer deal. So don't freak out that it's not free anymore. I've mentioned it many times before and it was always free and now people are having a heart attack because it's a paid solution, but it's $10. So not a bad deal at all in my opinion. After you install it, it puts this little icon on your toolbar and you can go in and choose your settings. You could say, when I do a search, do I want it to highlight the ones that I would consider to be good possibilities to use as a keyword? So I said, yes, if it gets more than 500 searches a month, I want you to highlight it and the color will be green. So I will show you that when we get over here and we start doing some keyword research. So in my example, I typed in neighborhoods in Savannah. How do we interpret this result? Well, the volume means that 320 people a month are typing neighborhoods in Savannah in the search bar, this exact phrase. The cost per click is $2.50, meaning if I were to run an ad, I could expect that it would cost me $2.50 per click. That is kind of pricey, but that also tells me that people that have run ads with this particular keyword it's working, it's converting business. And so they're willing to spend 250 per click because they are getting business from it. The competition means organic searching. It is SEO, it is not SEM, it is search engine optimization, free. SEM is search engine marketing, that's this. So unless you're running an ad, you don't really need to pay attention to this number. We're looking at organic search results. And on a scale of one to 100, it's a four. So 0.01 to 0.99, this is 0.04. To me, this means it's a killer keyword. We get 320 people a month looking for this keyword. The competition is low. And let's face it, if you're looking up neighborhoods in Savannah on Google or on YouTube, you're probably thinking about moving, right? You're looking at where to live. To me, that is a very good keyword because that shows that you have intent. It shows that you are in the market to move. Whether you're gonna buy or rent still remains to be seen, but at least we know they're interested in moving. What are some other examples? Let's say that we did, and then this shows you other things that people have searched for. Obviously we can't use many of these or we're gonna be violating fair housing laws. So you have to know what's legal and what's not. All right, so now let's type in something else. How about how to sell my house fast? Let's say that you wanted to attract sellers. 
This gets 720 searches a month, but the competition is very high. So on a scale of 0.01 to 0.99, it gets a 0.8. So 80 on a scale of 100, 1 to 100. To me, that's too competitive. You are not going to compete against the people that are showing up at the top of the search results. Let's see who's ranking like homelight.com, daveramsey.com, Zillow. We're not going to be able to compete against those. We are small individual real estate brokerages and agents and maybe teams. We can't compete against the Dave Ramsey of the world. So we come over and look at related keywords and people also search for to get some ideas of what might be a better alternative. The ones in the related still all have very high competition. So let's come down here. And as we start to get down here, home selling tips 2019 only has a 43 for the competition. That would be good. Then we start seeing some local sell my house fast Sacramento, uh, although it still has high competition. Hmm. How to give your house back to the bank. That only gets 20 searches a month. So, so if this is not working, you can look at the related keywords and people also search for to get other ideas. Uh, how to get your house ready to sell gets a thousand searches, but it still has medium competition. Well, what if I click on that one to get alternative ideas for that? How to get your house ready to sell still kind of has medium competition. I'd like to find something a little bit, oh, well, but that only gets 20 searches a month. How to get your house ready to sell checklist has low competition, but it also doesn't have a lot of search volume. So you're looking for the perfect combination of a fair amount of search volume, but low competition. Sometimes you're gonna have to type a lot of variations. How about how to get your house ready to sell, how to get my house ready to sell. Do we get better numbers with that? Get 70 searches a month and still has medium competition. How about how to get a house ready to sell quickly? 210 searches a month still has medium. Um, there we go right there. Getting house ready to sell checklist gets 390 searches a month and the competition is 0.29. This, in my opinion, would make a great keyword for either a blog post or a video because now we know it's got a fair amount of search volume. And for me as a small hyperlocal business, I feel like anything between about 75 searches to a thousand searches a month is terrific. If I get if somebody Googles getting house ready to sell checklist, is it a fair assumption that they're getting ready to sell their house? Yes. So 390 searches a month is fantastic. And the low competition means it should be easy for you to rank at the top of the search results if you put together a really well thought out video and or blog post. So that's how to use keywords everywhere. I think it is well worth the $10 that they charge. I have been using it for years now. I absolutely love it and I cannot recommend it enough. If you are a real estate agent and you wanna learn more tips and tricks on how to make videos that will attract your ideal clients, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because I put out new videos just like this every Thursday. Thanks for watching.